Hi everyone, this is Just Trying to Play It, and we are here today with Coral Island. Now, I know this game has been out probably about a week or so. Um, it's in, uh, it's out of early access, which I'm very excited about. I was so excited that I continued to play it um, with my other stuff. Now, I did not continue my early access uh, video, but what I did do was I started a whole new game thinking that that's what I had to do but for those of you who don't know if you continue to play Coral Island from the early access version you will start off with the money that you had so everything resets except for the money that you ended with now I didn't know that so I never tried it but I am going to try it with the game that I had started for my personal uh, use but other than that, I wanted to start a brand new one for the channel. I felt like it was just the thing to do. And I am going to enjoy this, even if it hurts. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to enjoy this because this game is very, 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 very enjoyable. And for those of you who don't know anything about this game then you be the judge of that because the game just has so much that it offers uh even just the different hairstyles we're looking at right here this could get kind of extensive i'm not going to get into all of this i am going to get as close to my hair as possible i usually wear my hair in a bun none of these buns kind of look right because right now i'm wearing it up like in an up bun um, so I think I'm gonna go with probably that, oh no, that shave thing. I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. So I'm gonna go with that. Everything else I am really not going to deal with. Um, I like the default face. It's actually pretty good. Now, I am gonna change this outfit. I love blue. I absolutely love it. But I really wanted to rock a nice little black outfit. I, I don't know what it is. I just love black. Black is beautiful. We're going to do our name here. We're going to be Miss. Just trying to play it. And for the farm, I don't know what the name should be. Um, um, let's see. I could call it. Um, I became a grandmother about six months ago, seven months ago. I'm going to call it Grandma's Farm. That's what we're going to call it. So we're going to leave it like that. Yes, I'm going to leave all of that. Mainly because you can, as the game says, you can change your clothes and hairstyle later. I don't care. The clothes and hairstyle is not going to make me... Uh, play the game any better it's not going to give me any kind of extra uh, boost anything like that so I don't mind there are some games that it will where the clothes do change or and help you do things but this one is not one okay so I leave Pokio is it Pokio or Pokio to start a new life on Coral Island let's go I have been looking forward to this there were so many different things that the game was doing and it was adding so many things to early access. I actually stopped playing. Um, I don't know how far I got. I don't remember. But I had actually stopped playing the game. Because I ended up just being frustrated. Because I was missing out on some of the stuff. Like they would come, I would be in the summer. They would come out with a, a spring update. Things like that. And it was driving me nuts. Okay, Connor. Hello, just trying to play it. Welcome back to Coral Island. Your new home. It's been a long time just trying to play it. Good to see you again. I can't remember the last time we had a visitor. Yeah, that's, that's a little sad. See, it already tells you there's some problems. I trust you had a wonderful journey with Mr. Wataru. Um, let's see. I'm going to say it was safe and comfortable. I'm still not sure what I'll do here. It's weird. It feels like I've done this before. Maybe in another life. Not going to say that. I'm going to go with it safe and comfortable. Great. I expected nothing less from Mr. Wataru. He's the best sailor you can ask for. You must be quite tired from the journey. Let's head over to your new place. Let's go. Let's hit it. I do love uh, 
a lot of the things they've got going on with this game. Um, a lot of people have said, however, uh, to try and keep the music off because even though the music is included with the game, there's a lot of, you know, sometimes you try to get copywritten or strikes or whatever. We're not trying to do that. So this is Jocko. All right, the floors are done. Denda. Oh my, what a coincidence. We've just finished patching things up here. Is this a new farmer? That's right. Just trying to play it. This is Denda and Jocko. They're the local carpenters. Nice to meet you. Hello. It's always exciting to welcome someone new to our little island. Well, that's lovely. Now, you do see the house is a little run down. You see some planks missing. Indeed. This will be your new house. It's a bit run down, but... <clears throat> Excuse me, Mayor Connor? Did you just say we did a poor job here? Uh, 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 no, I mean... That's cute. You know, it's nice to see that you've got some people with a sense of humor on here. Don't worry, I'm just joking. Unfortunately, we can only patch up the roof so it doesn't leak and replace some of the rotten wood. If you want more renovations, you can visit our shop and house in Hillside, northeast of here. We won't charge you for it, but you'll need to gather the materials yourself. Once we restore the foundation, you can decorate the house the way you like. We've placed the complete instructions in your mailbox. Well then, it's about time we head home. See you both around. Take care, and good luck. Well, we met some of the neighbors. That's cool. You know, and and the games like this usually start that way, I would say. Um, that's usually normal. As you can see, people are very excited that you're here. Doubly so for Sam. You should pay him a visit once you're more settled in. He's the owner of the general store in town. And that is the field where I'm guessing you'll spend most of your time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look left, look right, look down. Look left, look right, look down again. Yeah, up, oh, yeah, that's a lot of space. This has to be one of the bigger areas that I think I've seen in a starting game. Stardew Valley has a lot. But I think this area really kind of, it's a lot. It's a bit messy now, but I'm sure you'll take care of it in no time. I'm sure we'll do something with it. You know, something will happen with it. Okay, so down to the basics. Once you harvest your crops, you can put them or anything else you have to sell here in the shipping bin. I'll ship the content overnight to the appropriate stores in town. And you'll receive the funds the following day, which is wonderful. That's how most of this works. I'll be going now so you can get some rest. Oh, since you got here, just got here, you probably haven't bought anything you need for farming yet. Here's a little something from the town to get you started. What you got? What, 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 what are you giving me here? You received a watering can, an axe, a scythe, a disguise scythe, whatever, and some random seeds. It's wonderful. If you need anything else, I'm at your disposal. Come to me with problems, questions, some mean sake. <laughs> He probably does mean that. Welcome home. Just trying to play it. You know, that's a really warm, warm welcome. I have to hand it to him. I I feel like, you know, it's really important. Now, look at the inside of this joint. Okay, before we do that, let's hit J and look at what we got here. Okay, over here. Now, I repeat I did play the early access, but I did not play all of the content because I kept missing out. So, like I said, sometimes I'm in the summer or the fall, and they came out with spring content, so I had missed a lot. Then I would stop playing for a while, hoping that I can catch up, or at least something like that. Then I would be playing something else, and then here they come out with some. So I said, you know what, I'm going to stop playing until they just came out with everything, and then do a new save. Which is exactly what I did without reading what they said. So anyway, this is where you can see all of the quests that you have. Here you can separate everything according to main, side, and complete it. Now, starting out, we have to plant some seeds, water the seeds. We're going to get 100 for that. That's wonderful because we need to make as much money as we possibly can. Um, up here, we have our journal. It's going to tell us 
basically how much we've earned, items we've shipped, crafted, where we've gone, how long we've gone, errands completed, all kinds of stuff is up here, all kinds of good stuff. Crafting, what can we make right now? Makeshift sign, makeshift fence, makeshift gate, makeshift path. We see a pattern here, don't we? Makeshift chest, stone path, wood path. This makeshift chest. Mm, that sounds like something we probably need to push for sooner rather than later. Because you see how much space, how much space we We're using eight spaces already with just our tools and a few other items. What is this candy tree seed? And then we've got seven, so yeah, we're, we're, we're going to run out of space, too. So we might need to look into this and hold up to 20 objects. That doesn't sound like a lot, does it? It's not a lot, trust me. Stone path, which I'm probably going to do a lot of that because we come across a lot of stone. And I don't think I use a lot of wood. I found myself using a lot of in my playthrough. But please, don't get me wrong. I have not even gone that far in my personal playthrough. I haven't even scratched the surface of this game. So there's a lot of stuff I know. There's a lot of stuff. There's more things that I don't know. So if you have any kind of comments, suggestions, anything, please, please, please feel free to, to leave them in the comments. Uh, subscribe, like the video, whatever it is you want to do, please let me know. Put it in the comments. Subscribe to the video so you can see when the next one is coming out. And like the video so that, you know, hopefully more of these can come out. I do expect to play this all the way through. There's one or two others that I'm going to add um, because things just keep coming out. And I can't keep up with them. So, here we are. The map. We can zoom in and out of the map, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see here. We can zoom in and out of the map. Oh, it shows us there's a stranger here. Okay, so everybody's a stranger except for the three people, four people that we just met. So we're not going to find anyone. But what I did notice that they added here, which I don't think they had before, if I click on the, the mayor, okay, gives you a little bit about him. Before he became the mayor, Connor used to run his own general store with his late wife, Carol, wears a hat, okay? Now, over here, stuff that he loves, stuff that he likes, uh, things that he hates. Now, that stuff is probably going to be based on trial and error or paying attention to what's going on. Okay, so it looks like they probably will wear different outfits because this thing seems to have, which is pretty cool. I think that makes sense. In the spring, you shouldn't be wearing, you necessarily don't wear the same thing that you wear in the summer. Summer, you know, wear the same thing you wear in the fall and so on in the winter. So I think that's pretty cool. But my favorite is actually down here where it says find NPC. So once you meet someone, you can go down there and find them. And then here on the map, you can do the tab and you can view all of the shops here. And it will tell you when all of these places are open so that you don't have to keep going to every last one of them and looking at you know some sort of a um what do we call it billboard on the door beautiful beautiful stuff here this i don't believe was in early access as well so loving that completely as you look here there's a lot of fog We've got areas that we can go to that we have not even touched. This is wonderful. Now, if you really take a good look, you see where your place is. Your farm is pretty big. This is huge. You have the only real farm on this island, as you can see from here. So it makes sense that people are excited that you're coming, right? At least... That's the way I look at it. Now, back to the relationships. You can see that this is the mastery stuff. Okay, this tells you how close you are to going up a level. This tells you different things that you can unlock. This is absolutely beautiful. Stuff like in here, as well as other places, get added as we move through the game. So let's get on with it. We have 300 bucks, which is not a lot. It is the first on a Monday. And look at this place. This place is 
I, I guess you can say beggars can't be choosers, you know, in this regard. But I think I would have chosen something else. Um, but, hey, whenever you get started in games like this, you know the drill. You've got to start from somewhere, and it's usually the bottom. So, you know, let's just deal with it as we see fit. Let's read the mail. We're going to try to make sure we read the mail every day so we won't miss out on anything. Okay, to repair our house, they're gonna need to, we're going to need to gather some materials. 50 wood, 20 stone. Does not sound like a lot. Once I have everything, head to the carpenter and place an order at the counter. Your house will be repaired on the same day. Now, I did see some people who played this and who didn't pay too much attention. Let's go to Jay, as it says. And it's telling us right here, we're going to get $100 for them to fix our place, which is great. And we'll get $100 just to do the seeds and water them. Now, as you can see, to grow crops, start by clearing the debris. We know that. Uh, press left click, left mouse button while equipping a scythe. Pick that pickaxe or axe to clear the debris. Obviously, depending upon what it is. Then equip the hoe and press left mouse button to till the soil. Next, equip the seed bag and press left mouse button to place seeds on tilled soil. Finish by equipping your water can and press left mouse button to water the seeds. You see a pattern with the left mouse button. Left mouse button is obviously action. Crops need to be watered daily until they are ready for harvest. That we need to make sure that we do. There's been times where I've put crops and I'm not, you know, I'm not perfect. But I have put crops in areas where I couldn't really see them. Like right now, the tree is blocking this area. So if I were to put some crops over here, I may not realize that they need to be watered. Um, that's just me. Though. Sometimes, you know, you're doing... I'm going to tell you right now, this game sometimes has you doing so much to where you don't even realize, you know, that time has gone by. You don't realize... You know that you have these things there so it's very important for you to you know just pay attention as much as you possibly can because it's, it's trust me it's not going to be you know all the time that you're going to catch everything set if we continue here oh, 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 oh. no yeah there we go there's a seed there's some more seeds there now, there was this one thing here. Notice here also, as you're going across everything, it's giving you a little breakdown of what everything is. This tells you how long it takes for this particular crop to grow. It's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. These are candy tree seeds, a craftable snack to satisfy thrifty foragers. So that looks like 60 stamina and 20 health. So it's going to replenish 60 of that, 20 of this. So by us having health, it obviously indicates some form of combat. Most of these games have some form of combat. Uh, sap and oak seeds. So we can do, no we can't. We can't already do those. That's fine. That's fine. We can't hardly do anything because we just started. But we're going to try to clear a space where we can at least get some plants going. Now, I don't like putting anything on corners. This may be a path for me. I'm not sure. I may create a path along this line. An impact, I, I don't know. But I think, for the most part, every time I play this game, I always start my farm on this side. Because it is the closest to the water. Okay. Now forgive me if that's not the way that you guys would be doing this. But that is the way that I like to do it. Because I'm right here. I can, it, you know, as long as I'm not going all the way over here to water anything, I'm fine. Okay. So that's how I'm going to start it. Um, I guess some people start it different. I don't know those people, and it does not matter to me. So I am going to go here. Now I have 18, 9 of each. Now I know eventually I'll get some sprinklers, but 
we are so far from sprinklers we're not even going to worry about them at the moment so here's what I am going to do I am going to make space for nine of these bad boys and the reason why I'm doing them now is because I don't want to run out of stamina and then not get them started until day two every day counts when I am planting uh, these things every day counts so the sooner you get them down in the ground the sooner you can um, get money for it well not even just that but the sooner uh, you can harvest these and plant some more now in the beginning you don't have that much money so what I'm going to try to do is to build up my money because summer is coming and I am going to need those seeds for the summer but I'm also going to need better tools because these things are not cutting it but I'm not going to complain because it is what we have to start with now let's look at this um see they they kind of they kind of made you think that all you had to do was plant the seeds and water the seeds but now you've got to actually finish these two parts here which is fine which is fine we need to gather some more stone and a little more wood hopefully the 129 um stamina that we have left would allow us to do this so we're going to try to cut some of the bigger trees even though it takes more stamina than the little ones and see if we can't get that amount of wood and probably a little bit more yes we got 23 wood so we we fulfilled our wood quota we now have to get some more stuff oh see i wasted one there I do that it's already turning kind of red Need five stone. Ooh, look at that. A geode. New discovery. A geode. Bring it to the blacksmith to crack open. There may be valuable items inside. You bet there will be. At least we're hoping so. So that gave us. We need two more stone. We have. Here we go. Let's do this big one. There we go. So we now have what we need for the carpenter. And it's early in the day. So let's go give this to the carpenter first. Now she said northeast. So we're, oh, look, 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 look. Look at the babies. These are all chickens. Ooh, this is so pretty. Look at this. Oh, that's just lovely. And it's just sitting there chilling. That is beautiful. There's something in there too, but you can't hardly see it. This game is like absolutely, go is that a llama? Look at the little babies. Look at this. This is a good one. This is great. You can't touch any of these. Oh, yes. You can talk to Kenny. Hey, Kenny. How's it going, buddy? I heard about you. I heard you're looking for some fresh air away from the city. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that, buddy. That is exactly what we're looking for. What is this? What is this right here? Um, there we go. That's a wild seed. Okay, well, as you can see, I knew that already. Some people probably don't know that, but when you see those things sticking in the ground like that, oh my God, my inventory is full. See, we're already there. When you see those things sticking in the ground like that, you want to hit them with your hoe so that you can get them up out of the ground because they could be wild seeds that you saw, or they can be almost anything. Okay, so repair your house. Uh huh. Now it says to go here, which is not, it's, it's not, it's not here, but it updated it for us. Now what I've seen some people do is they've come in here, they've shopped, they've looked all through here. Now, yes, you have some things. We, we don't need any of this stuff. We have the small aquarium. The calendar might be a good idea to invest in early, but it's really not necessary right now. But there's a small aquarium, there's decoration stuff. You still got to fix the house before you can even do that, right? Then you see people go into the carpenter. Oh, yes, let's look at this. Coop, the barn, uh, stable. We definitely want that because, you know, we, we want to have a, a horse to get around uh, better. But there's other ways to get around, as we will see in the game. The mill, 
the silo, the fish pond, and say, all of these are useful. But yeah, they cost a little money. Cost a little money. But that's fine. Now, I watch <laughs> someone play this game and stop right there. Didn't even go any further. And said they were to come here and do their homes. It costs nothing. They told you that in the beginning. Okay? I have made that mistake of not paying attention to stuff and just trying to get on with it. But I do encourage you with this game, read everything you possibly can. Look at everything you possibly can look at. Okay? Because the game itself will tell you a lot of things. Um, now, you can pick the style of the house. This is fine. I like it. It's cozy. It's cute. This is a little bit more interesting. This eh, this is a little bit on to me the scaly water side. I I don't I can't deal with that. I'm not gonna deal with that. Uh, this one is yeah no. This is like a beach house. I'm not on the beach. I need a sturdy home because of where I live. So I'm gonna go with this now. In another playthrough, I've got this one. In a different playthrough, I may do this one. I may do that. You know, I may do something different. But anyway, for right now, I just want a nice sturdy decent looking home we're gonna go with that awesome thank you i'll work on it right away she says now she's not gonna be the only one working on it as you will find out soon jocko honey a slight change of plans just trying to play it's here with the building materials let's head over to the farm and repair just trying to play it's cabin so we have a cabin now not necessarily a house house we can deal with that that's not a big deal that's not a problem Wow, that's awesome. Just trying to play it. Let's do it. Let's go. And we're off. We're on our way to my house to fix my house. Then then Jocko are repairing your house. Okay. How are the house upgrades? More comfortable, right? Now, move it. Help me get your stuff inside, kiddo. Now, as you can see, we're moving stuff. We're getting things done. Look at that. It's not a lot of stuff that we had, to be honest with you. A little sweeping. You know, we take a moment, get to know each other. Which is kind of cute, you know. Now he's putting up the television. And there you go. Everything that we were going to have in this house is in this house. Still looks a little bit empty, doesn't it? Phew, that old thing was really heavy. We're finished. What do you think? Okay. Um, This is kind of, you know. I'm going to say no more, no more holes. I hope you can sleep better now. Look, no more moldy wood. We replaced all of it. We also built a new foundation for the house. That means it's strong enough for more furniture now. You can start decorating to make things comfier. Speaking of decoration, we have a furniture store in town. But since there are, a few, are fewer tours, we don't stock many options anymore. No one's buying, you know. Check it out, though. You might see something that you like. If you want, we can go there, right? All right, that's enough, you scared kid. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I got too excited there. We love that store. Even some of my cousins helping out there. It's a family business for us. Feel free to visit when you have the time. It's in the middle of the town. Shouldn't be hard to find. That's cool. All right, that's all for... Honey, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the TV. Now, we threw in a free TV for you. Just trying to play it free of charge. It's old and bulky, but it still works perfectly. It's It gets a good amount of channels, too, like this weather. You know, you got to bang the thing. Well, sometimes you got to smack it good at a 60-degree angle like this. The channels are very useful, like the weather report or the weather channel. So you can skip watering the crops on rainy days to go fishing or something. I don't know what you like to do, but you get the idea. There are variety shows too. Love them. Some shows have useful tips if you play close attention. If you pay close attention. I guess that's all for now. See you around. See ya. Don't forget about the furniture store, alright? Now I can see how they have a furniture store. They're carpenters. Your house just got bigger. I, 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 I guess it did. Okay, so let's go in here and claim that reward. That's a cool hundred bucks. Now we got four hundred. 
Okay, we still have to go and harvest our first crop. Visit Sam. We're not going to be able to do that for a while. Let's check out the channel. How to be a farmer with Jeff Smith. My name is Jeff Smith and I know a thing or two about farming. I was raised in a farm, so I got tips for you, Sprouts. Let me tell you all about them. I'm going to tell you the first thing my pop told me when I planted my first corn in 19... Yeah. 19LX1. I think L is 50, X is 10, uh, 10 and I is 1. So I'm going to say 61. Water your crops every day. I could be wrong, could be right. No, no. Water your crop every day. That's it. You get that down, chances are you'll be okay, Sprouts. But you don't need to water when it's raining, you hear? That's great. Okay, weather channel. Okay, weather. Tomorrow's forecast, sunny and clear. Wear sunscreen. Great. And the animal channel. Okay, mock mookbang with mook. Moo, hello fellow mooks. Welcome again to mookbang. Here mook eat everything. Like high grade grass from Tokyo and Saka. Moo. Moo is heavy. I need moose. moose. What? Today mook will eat this grass from an island south of Tokyo. Mook says it was the last stock in the world. Farmer culture invading and gone. This is crazy. Mook takes soil and freshness. Mook approves. Time to eat more. Something is weird. Mook did not taste any green in this. What could it be? Out of season grass, farmers. No growing something out of season. You destroy it, okay? Mook do not want to eat again. That was my favorite bowl. What a waste. This is crazy. Next week, Mook will review Pokio hay with bulk whole chicken. See you next week. Yeah. So basically, all of that basically told us not to grow stuff that's not in the right season. Because it's not going to make it. Which is fine. I wish they could have said it a little quicker. But, you know, what are you going to do? So I think that, I think we were supposed to have made ourselves a chest. We need wood and trash. Isn't that something? But we only have... 36 so I think we're going to need to eat that. as you can see we gained 60 okay I think we need wood more than we need a lot of wood wood is so if you play any game you guys know this wood is like your number one resource that you see always need there's little or no time where you don't need wood. You can you can uh, look at Stardew Valley. You can look at any survival game. You can look at any farming game. Okay, low stamina. You can consume food or drinks to recover stamina. Equip the food or drink and press the left mouse button to consume it. You can also go to bed to replenish your stamina. The only issue with going to bed to replenish your stamina is when you go to bed, you go for the whole night. You do not get a chance to say, I just want to go for, you know, uh, two hours, or I just want to sleep for four hours. You sleep for the entire night. So you have to be prepared. Oh, my God. Um, What can I do here? I can't make anything else, and this is full. I don't want to throw away anything. You know what? Let's plant this seed. I am going to make one little spot for this seed. I don't like wasting this stuff. One spot. Seed. Water. Now. The reason why I did that is because, number one, I don't know what that seed might be. Yes, it's only one seed, but there's a chance that that could be a seed that we may not have access to you know what I'm saying like we could uh, there's some things you can grow obviously that you have to unlock but the wild seeds could be anything whether you unlocked it or not so I want to make sure that I'm taking advantage of those wild seeds now at a certain time of the month or year or whatever uh, the season, I won't do it this, yeah, so, there's a lot of harvestables around here, well, there's harvestables, I won't say a lot, but there are things that can be harvested, uh, around here, they're forageables, and the only reason 
that you really know they are there is if you've played games like this before. Uh, usually, games like this have things laying around just random that you can pick up and you can either sell them or you can use them. And for someone like me, I prefer to sell them if I can. But, see, like that. Who would have known that that would have been in that thing? But yeah, I prefer to sell them uh, if I can. But only after I will probably hold on to one or two. See, and then even in the garbage, there's stuff. So it might be worth your while to search people's garbage. I know there are some games that don't like that. Stardew Valley comes to mind. But this is not Stardew Valley. This is a different game. It probably builds on some of the things that Stardew Valley has. But, you know. Okay. So this person wants us to grow them something. They want a peony. Which is a flower. Lovely flower. And we have four days to do it. I'm going to accept that because now I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna buy the seed to grow the damn thing. Okay, <laughs> cut scene. I knew you would eventually make your way here. I wanted to personally introduce you to the owner of this store. This is Sam. He's been running this establishment for a while now. Hello, it's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the general store. You'll find most of your farming needs here. Most of the seeds I sell are seasonal though. It would do you good to keep this in mind. If you need help, just holler. I'll be by the cash register. Well, isn't this nice, Sam? You might finally put a dent in that seed stock of yours. Yeah, Sam didn't look too happy about that. Anyway, before you get going, your moving in was quite unexpected. I'm sure a lot of people are anxious. Well, more like curious to see who the new farmer is. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to folks in town? All right. That's normal, too. I think you probably could accept that. You know, you probably could expect that. So there's 25 other people we need to introdu introduce ourselves to. However, there's more than 25 more people here. So let's count the rows. There's four in each row, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rows of four people. That's 44. Another three people. That's 47 people that we haven't met. Okay, but we only need to meet 25 of those people. So it is in our best interest to just say hello to everyone. Here's one here. Ben. Oh, a new face. Feeling really good vibes from you, mate. Met Ben. So we need to make sure that we're meeting everyone we possibly can. Okay, we can upgrade our bag for 500. That might be something we look to do as soon as possible. Because as you saw, we ran out of space very quickly. Okay, so here are the seeds available. Daisy, turnips, we've already seen those two. Peony, potato, carrot, cauliflowers, not very many in the beginning. Got some grass starters, some fertilizer ones, some sugar, some wheat flour, and then some bread. I kind of wish the bread gave you a little more of this because you could buy that. It's cheap. But I mean, if you want to just eat sugar, you can knock yourself out with sugar. I don't know. But we have already have nine of these two at the top. Uh, we have an order for this. So there's an errand we could run. Uh, that person's paying us like 85 So we're paying 20 for the seat. That's a good profit. I think that's a good profit. Um... I would love to do nine of each of these seeds, but I, don't, I can't afford it, especially not this one. Especially not this one. Uh, but I want to put this in the ground sooner rather than later because it takes the longest time to grow. But I could wait till I got some money to get all nine, which is, what is that, 630 That sounds like a lot of money in the beginning. Okay, what are we going to do? Um, I do like potatoes. Can we get, I think we're going to get a couple of each. Just to get us started. Yeah, that's probably a good start. Um, I don't want to go broke, broke. 
But that's probably a good start for us. I probably should get more, but... Mm -hmm. Let me think about this. We've only got one of these candy tree seeds available, too. And that's only 60 energy. Are we even going to be able to get all of these down in the ground? We should. We should be able to. At least I'm hoping that we can. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to try to see if we can get these in the ground. Because it's going to be extremely important for us to, uh, it's still early. I want, oh, you know what? Okay. I don't know if you guys know, but if you go into the settings, the game time speed right now is at 50% for me. Um, the 100% makes it go pretty quick. Right now, I'm going to leave it on 70 because I don't want it to go too fast, but I don't want it to go too slow either. Uh, there's not a lot that we are doing in the beginning. Um, we can meet a lot of people. We can do things like that. We can go, wait, wait, am I full? Yeah, I'm full. So there's no point in me checking that garbage. But we can meet a lot of people. Um, we can do some things. But the whole point is there's not a lot we can do. So I don't want the days to go by too slow or too fast. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to have to take down this tree. I'm going to end up eating this last thing. Because this is taking three for every time we hit one of those. Yeah. So let's do this. We should be okay. Let's just hope we are. Okay, let's bring these up here. Get over there. Get over there. Okay, let's start with the cauliflower. Put that in there. Put those in there. And then the last two. See, we were almost perfect. Luckily, we picked up that wild seed, which allowed us to be able to fill this whole thing. Now, we're not going to be able to do too much more because we really don't have, we don't have the stamina. We don't have anything. Now, technically, I would sell all of my forageables, but because I don't have multiples of them yet, I'm only going to sell this one. As you can see, it's got a question mark because we've never sold it before. We don't know how much it's going to be. So we're going to leave that bad boy there. Now, I don't want to necessarily go, like, I think when we find forageables, they don't use any of our stamina. But what, what you've noticed with me is I have... Um, made the mistake of swinging blindly and that also takes your stamina so what I'm going to try to do is to not do that I'm going to try to make sure that I am um, swinging at something if I'm going to swing at all let me see I see something over here Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go exploring. We're going to only do that when we absolutely have to. We're going to take that. So that's a bug that we could have gotten if we had a bug that. But we don't have a bug that. What's over here? You always want to check stuff like this. There's another one. I am getting some seeds. You always want to check little areas and stuff because you don't know what you might come across. Who's this? Zara, new farmer in town. You moved here after the oil spill? Huh. I'm Zara. See her out. So she's basically calling us stupid <laughs> because we moved here after, I guess, the oil spill kind of wrecked the town. So I, I can't. I can't say that I blame her because it, it 
it makes you wonder why anyone would move here if something destroyed the area but you know okay here is a mushroom a shiitake we can't get any bugs right now but there's another mushroom oh what is that next to the mushroom Ho hold on get it okay what is this there we go there's some more candy tree seeds so we could actually do more stuff if we wanted to but I think that I'm going to hold off. What's what we got going on over here? Hold on. I didn't even see that. Let me get that. Huh, come here, lady. Suki. Oh, hey. It's nice to see you again. Okay. Sorry we're closed today. Well, I had an exclamation mark on it. I thought it was telling me to, to look at it. This, this is absolute. I mean, even with the oil spill, this is beautiful. This is really a really well designed game with all the beauty that it has. You know, just the little things, really. Okay, I'm starting to feel tired. Now, worst case scenario, what is this thing? This is blocking something. Oh. What? I wonder. What? What's. What? What? Ooh, I need to get over there. That looks kind of interesting. I wonder what's over there. Now, I never have... You don't understand what it says. Okay. I never have gone that far in this game to open up everything. So, please don't feel like I'm pretending that I don't know something. I'm discovering things also. Some more sap. Uh, no, let's talk to you. you. Takiba. Is that you, Taro? Oh, you know... He probably doesn't, he's probably doesn't know who I am. I'm sure he doesn't. Boom. There's some more. Now, what I did notice was if I get to be too tired, I will start walking or running too slow. And I don't want that. There are so many things I've gotten over here. Oh, somebody does painting outside. Okay, trash in, in the garbage. What did you expect? There's so many different ways you can go. I really want. Yeah, see, as you notice, the lighting is getting, it's fading. So that's an indicator that I'm getting more and more tired. And that I probably need to slow down or stop. You're going to be a farmer, huh? What brings you out here then? By the way, you can call me Paul. So to me, he's saying that this is not the area to come to to be a farmer. Um, what is this thing? You don't understand what it says. Okay, so there's some sacred stuff out here. Some interesting mysteries that we'll end up finding out about. Who are you? Who are you? Hold, hold on. Anne. Good day, stranger. Oh, you just moved to the farm? Welcome to the community. My name is Anne. Okay, can't go that way. I'll end up in the water. Okay, it's 1818 now. To me, that's not late. But, you know, on these games, 6 o'clock is about the time that people start, you know. Oh, the new neighbor. So someone really was moving into town, huh? I didn't believe it until I saw you myself. So that's an indicator to, to, you, to everyone that there's some things going on. Um, people don't believe it when someone new says, you know, when they, when someone tells you someone new is coming to live here. That's Connor. In case you didn't notice, the Black Roots were here since the oil spill happened. We have no idea how to get rid of them. Believe me, we tried almost everything. That gives you a little bit of insight. They are doing construction over here. Derek. Well, hello, Derek. What did you say? You can't hear anything. That is Derek. You like me to get there again. Derek has got a cue. Hello, Derek. Hope to see Derek again, don't we? But I do notice a lot of, uh, a lot of the people on here are, like, actually decent looking. You know, they're, they're decent looking people. I love the way that they did it. Even the ones you think may not be as attractive or whatever. 
you know, they still have character. And I love that about this game. Um, there's another little bug. Okay, we are going to go in because I don't want to waste the, the food that we got. Uh, I want to make sure that we can water and plant.